Hi friends, Suzanne here. Welcome to another Christmas in July card. This is card design number three. I am featuring the Greetings of the Season stamp set and I have shaded spruce ink here and I also have a basic white card and a very vanilla card front and it's just because I don't have any very vanilla uh, thick card base. So Here's my little sentiment strip and my card front and I have the shaded spruce ink marker and I'm flicking the nib in the cap to create some speckles. Now I'm going to use Seal Plus to adhere the card front to the basic white card base. And just a little hack in case you don't have the right color of cardstock or very little, or you have one and out the other, this is a nice way of still having the look that you want, but you know, cheating. <laughs> essentially. So I want to say this, you guys, I had filmed uh, a couple of videos this last weekend and I was just going to edit them. And of course, when I went to edit this particular video, um, it was flashing black and white on my uh, video screen. And uh, I have no idea how the, how my uh, phone which I record on how it's uh, corrupted things. So I have to get a new phone. So I pulled out my old phone and I've remade this card. So some of the photos that you see on the, you know, the graphics that I made for this content, not the same. So I have full disclosure here. I've had a little issue. All right, you saw what I did there. I put two of the pieces of seasons of green and gold specialty designer series paper i put two in and it actually worked really nicely but the third one because we have three uh, squares here i'm going to show you how to use this die without the hole so i put the die in and here's my mini cut and emboss machine i roll it halfway and then i'm rolling it out and then I'm going to take that die and I'm going to flip it round. And then you can kind of feel because there's like the stitch marks, it, it kind of snugs back into place. So now I'm going to make sure that the uncut portion of that paper is going in my die cutting machine. And I won't run it all the way through because then I'll you know, have a tag hole. So <laughs> I'm just going to run it halfway again. And then, I mean, obviously, if you were never going to use the these tags as tags, you can take paper or sorry, like wire snips and cut the little tag part off too. But this is a best of both worlds situation. So basically, you are actually going to be able to use the full on part of the uh, the use the tag and then you can use the the die without the tag hole it didn't bother me to have these tag holes in here it's totally fine uh, but i thought i would share with you that little tip and uh yeah let's let's move on so here is the shaded spruce ink i have chosen the sentiment merry christmas and i know christmas in july right as demonstrators, uh, if you sign up to be a demonstrator, you will get as uh, in like just a couple weeks, we're going to see the Christmas holiday uh, mini catalog. And that's exciting. So we and there's so many good products. I got a sneak peek because I went to this big uh, function called Creativity Now, which was for demonstrators. And I think it's great that they keep us, you know, engaged in stamping and, uh, you know, just community. But um, yeah, it was really nice to see some of the new products. You guys, they're going to knock your socks off. All right. So I fishtailed that piece and that little strip was just three quarters of an inch. The gold here is an inch. So it's nothing you haven't seen before. I matted it because there is 
gold in that paper. It is the Seasons of Green and Gold Specialty Designer Series paper. And my goodness, there's a lovely little bit of gold running through it. So this is how I mat something. I don't cut in the middle or cut things off. I sort of go in from each side and mat it perfectly. So here, there's another little tip. All right, so I put my card base on my, and I, I needed to keep it in the middle for you guys to see. So that's why I'm using a different uh, ruler, but I wanted to see the halfway point uh, from, you know, five and a half, which is 2.75. And I, it was easy enough for me. I didn't have to mark it with a pencil or anything, but having that ruler right next to when you're doing sort of, I think this is called a triptych. I'm not sure. One of my teammates mentioned that to me. Um, I don't know the names of things at all ever. <laughs> I just like, oh, this is design. I like I don't know if you're like me like that I I and I don't really maybe I'm a Gen X or that's why we don't we don't name anything <laughs> so um, anyway I was able to put the middle down and then the left and the right so now I'm just putting a dry adhesive on my sentiment and I did sort of curve it up a little bit on that fishtail end but this and I didn't care that you know there was I just ran a strip through of adhesive and it didn't matter if there's any gaps that's fine so i fussy cut some of the seasons of green and gold designer series paper i fussy cut these um, fronds and uh, leaves and such out and yeah i put them all together and then of course i went in like i have with the other couple cards that i did this last week i used the Man metallic enamel effects basics and in the gold flavor they come uh, three to a pack i think you get gold and bronze and silver these are the cards that i had made for this content you can look back at the videos if you want to see me make this fun fold this is called a diamond faceted card i would like you to comment in in the comments below that you would like me to demonstrate this uh it's it kind of it, it is a little bit complicated but if you want to see me do do it up in this paper i'm more than happy to do it all right you guys uh the 3d uh, box is coming up soon i have to re-record that one too anyway thank you so much for watching and staying with me and i'll see you next time bye for now